uh, covering uh, the trip to see the Pope, in which, you, as you will see, Charlie appears uh, quite prominently in the uh, in the scene. Okay, Charlie was at Mount Calvary, and it was a wonderful experience and also great responsibility, as he was the uh, chaplain and person in charge of the youth as they traveled from Washington out to see the Pope on his only United States uh, visit. Yeah, it was a very uh, exciting and solemn moment, let me tell you. And um, I also put some extra things on there relating to uh, uh, Monsignor Laurie, who is now Bishop Laurie, uh, whom Charlie knows personally, and uh, some of the other comments. So we'll go on and see it now. You buy your Washington area Honda dealers. Say hello to a goodbye at their end of the model year sales event. Hundreds of Washington area youngsters boarded planes today for a trip to Denver to see Pope John Paul II. The Pontiff arrives there on Thursday for his only stop in the United States. As Channel 5's Eileen Pincus reports, the Pope will be aiming his message at young Catholics. Pope John Paul II is finishing the first leg of his week-long tour with stops in Jamaica and Mexico. Waiting for him when he arrives in Denver will be 500 young Catholics from the Washington area. The youngsters gathered at National Airport this morning for the start of their 10-day trip. Church leaders say the experience will help inspire the faithful with a message aimed directly at Catholic youth. For the youngsters themselves, there was anticipation of more immediate rewards. To get away from home and, uh, you know, to uh, get out, see the folk, get some uh, world experience. Uh, it was something different to do and a chance to get away for a little while. <laughs> 16-year-old Maurice Joy said his job at a pizza parlor enabled him to save up the $700 for the trip. Robert Tolson said there were a lot of fundraisers to get him and others to the airport today. And if it were possible to actually meet the Pope and ask a question, Helen Bryant says she knows what she'd ask. What do you plan to do to help more young people all over the world become interested in the Catholic faith? A recent poll found a majority of young Catholics say they, not the church, should make the final decisions in their lives. Church leaders say they're not worried about that. How does any parent deal with that? How does any teacher deal with that? If you present to them the faith, not just in a poll or a soundbite, but if you present it in a reasonable, beautiful, loving way, I think young people respond very well to the faith. So I don't think we're worried about the future. I think we're confident. I think the young people are really our hope. In Washington, Eileen Pincus, Fox News.